But do you know what it is, yeah? I was thinking, was I close? Was I like, I don't know. When I say close, I mean like 5% close to managing you. Do you know why I say that? Because I'm going to take you back to a time. Remember me and you was talking a lot and yeah. I was working for a management company. Yes. At that time. I was working for a lady called Jackie Davidson. Yes. For those who don't know, Jackie Davidson manages one of the, the most so, uh, successful songwriters in this country, yes. in Wayne Hector. And um, she taught me a lot about the music business. I worked with her for a few years or whatnot. Mm. And I don't know, because it's a blur now. No, I knew, no, no, no. I, I remember that. All, I remember I knew, that era. I knew you way before that anyway. Of course. But like, I just remember us talking, whatever. I've brought you to the office. Yep. You've met Jackie. Yep. Then you've like, we all had some type of dialogue. I was coming to your yard, to the studio, whatever. And it was like, we were, we were flirting with the idea a yeah, little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. get what I'm yeah. saying? We were flirting with the idea. Yeah. I was I was a little close, weren't I? Just a little bit. I think that, I, I remember that scenario very well. Yeah. I remember why I walked away from it as well. And it wasn't because of you. Yeah. But yeah, definitely. Why did you walk away from it? Why just wasn't it? really comfortable. Yeah. I wasn't really like, like, you're, you're talking about a corporate scenario before our industry had a corporate scenario. Proper. And again, I'm talking about the urban scenario. When you talk about, when you look at the dance world, mm. drum and bass house, they've had the corporate the, the corporate scenario. They've had underground businesses that are making millions and they've had a structure and a platform for artists to come in, make their music, make millions, burst. Mm. Do you understand where I'm coming from? This, what we've got is all new. Mm. So the scenario that you introduced me to was just, it, it was, was mind blowing. It was foreign. It was mind blowing. And even um, like now, the way Jackie is, now I understand have you, it. Have you seen her of late? Because I, I miss I Jackie. I always see you know? Jackie. Do you? I always see Jackie. She crosses but... my mind all of the time, yeah. And I think it's really bad because, you know, when somebody crosses your mind a lot and you don't reach out, you know, like when you end up seeing that person, you say, oh, I've been thinking about you or whatever. Yeah. Then sometimes like, yeah, whatever. I ain't seen you for years. And you, yeah, you just, but like, or it's almost like I need to reach out because something's telling me to reach out. I don't know whether it's a personal thing or just, I don't know. Some, you know, like I just keep getting this thing of caller, 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 caller. So I need to do that. You should. But yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, I, you see her, I yeah? feel like every once in a while we cross paths. Okay. Jackie's had so much success yet. I feel like she hasn't got time for things that don't make sense. Yeah. And she's learnt how to avoid it. You see that opportunity thing I'm talking about? Mm. Go for the opportunities that are yours. Go f and avoid the ones that are not. And I feel like Jackie's probably mastered, even if I want it, walk away. Mm. Do you understand? Mm. Now to other people, when you're, when you're receiving that, it's extremely harsh. Because mm. it's either, are you on ball or not? There's no, if it's no, don't ask me again. She's very like red pill, blue pill. But then success at that level is that because she could be missing out on a, a, a cut for, for Wayne or finding the next Wayne mm. rather than someone who's unsure <laughs> or do you get what I'm saying? And mm. that environment was just too harsh for me to do. Mm. At that point, Sticky and Jason um, stopped working together. I'm not the person who I was now. They're producers. For I was the person know. who was growing into the person I was now. Yeah. Bounce wasn't Bruv, popular. You've no had, do you know what, yeah? You have had a, a moment to a degree in every era, maybe barring one. The one era that maybe we didn't see Deneo in too much was the, the era where everyone started to make that mad crossover music and all of that. I, didn't I really... was making funky then. You was making funky. And even on my mixtape, my, on my album Party Hard, before everyone started doing that, I was making that style of music anyway. Yeah. But when everyone was doing that, I was making funky. funky. And keeping funky real alive, boy. I was not keeping funky alive. I was we one of, of the. You was part of it. You was big, but come on, man. I feel like you was a big part of it. I mean, no, like, I was a listen, big part of it. But you it... can't exclude the DJs, the other producers, and stuff like that. Like even Genius had some bangers. I just feel that. like do you know what it is with funky, yeah. I accept it because you know what I did do. What everyone said I did, and I was the king. But what people don't realize is that, like, like there's nothing without a team. I was of just course. the face of it. Yeah, yeah, and I yeah. earned that. Yeah, I did earn that. Right? But it doesn't mean other people didn't also. Like Crazy Cousins. Oh, yeah. they like, were I wouldn't be me well. without Crazy Cousins. I wouldn't be me without Genius. Yeah. yeah. Genius created a structure. He had Remember radio. Remember that tune, Crackish? He had, do you know what I'm saying? Huh? Crackish. 
Do you know what I'm saying? Oh my god. Give him give Google that. Gang gang. Yeah. Gang gang. Google that. I'm playing that tomorrow night. Are you? I'm going to be I'm DJing at Visions. Oh, are you DJing? Yeah. yeah. Okay. What like how do cuz now like you're in a oh, there's so much flipping cuz I don't want to come back and go forward and all of that but fuck it. Now like you're out here as a as a as a new artist to a lot of young people, yeah. Yeah. Right? What is it like to them when they play funky? The reason why I ask that is because as a DJ, when I get booked to play at those type of events, funky isn't really particularly anything that I would play to them, to that crowd. However, I know that a lot of that crowd know you through all of the features that you've done, through some of the songs that you've done, even through some of the production that you've done. Mm. But when you perform it to them, so see like when they're like, all right, cool, I'm gonna go to a Deneo show. And some of them not knowing the devil in a blue dress. But they or know the party I'm fly. Hard in my circle. They know part oh yeah, they know party hard. And they know they? My, my circle. But hold on, wait, wait. How how long ago was part how long ago did Party Hard come out? Ten years. Ten years ago. So if you were <laughs> if you're sixteen years old, you were six when that came out. That's a mad thing. Do you wanna hear a mad thing? You wanna hear another mad thing? So I went to a club in Uxbridge yesterday. And um there's now another generation. There was the there was the generation below us, which is Stormzy, Section Boy, and all that. There's now another layer. Harlem Spartans. I uh, would even SL. say, I would. Even, I'm talking about Hardy and Notes. Like oh, those, that, yeah, yeah. yeah like, that, I say, that's the same. Sort like of. they only know me from Lockdo, and then they go back and they, oh, we've heard our brothers play party hard. Yeah. There's like there's like a there's like a one, two, three. There's a fourth layer now. Fucking hell, blood is a mad do you get it? Like there's me, then like it's just like there's like a fourth layer. I feel like 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 the Stormzy's and 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 uh, and uh, um, and uh, Section Boys. They were like the layer that they were sixteen. They mm. were listening to me, mm. and they understand grime. This layer now, they understand lock though. Yeah, maybe maybe they just caught onto my circle. They know party hard because it's probably played at every barbecue or anything like that. Yeah. But they don't know it's me. They yeah, know the me thing, yeah. from they've like, heard, all the features. They've heard, oh yeah, party hard school. and that, but yeah. they don't know. They don't know. They don't know it's you. To me, I'm just this guy who sings bare hooks. Like, who yeah, is yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're, you're the hooks guy. Yeah. And the producer guy. Yeah. I said, they know that you make beats. No, nah, everyone's still finding that now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the majority of the stuff that, you, that you've that you 90%. On, you've produced, isn't it? Yeah. Like, do you make it that way, or is it has it just turned out that way? Like, no, what? because like everyone that wants to work with me wants to work with me because they love my music. Mm. So if you love my music, that means you love my production. So most of the time, they want a rhythm from me, or they want a rhythm that I co-sign. Yeah. So say like, Wretch's whistle, I didn't produce. Rhymes produced that. Okay. Lethal's uh, celebrate. I just moved the snare, but I didn't produce that. Distortion did. Okay. And the two Clue records I didn't produce. Oh, okay, okay, okay. But apart from that, everything else I've produced. Produced. Locked out, um, About that with Belly Squad. Like everything. Are you the more? Are you the most name brand that you've ever been now? Yeah. yeah. Hundred million, squillion, trillion. How, and like, how, how, like when I say how does it feel, I mean not as in how does it feel as like a human being, like oh, like it makes me feel good. How do you know the difference? Because before when people used to see me, be like, oh, safe. Sorry. Oh, safe. You make big tunes. Yeah. Bless. Now it's, oh, are you? That's the nail. Or I'll be sitting there and someone freezes. Serious. Or someone will scream. Or someone will run up the escalator and just Man. stare at me like, or or like when I run up on stage, it's like, like I ain't gonna lie, the jewelry's put a little gloss on you still, you know? <laughs> The jewelry, the <laughs> mat, the trap hat, and that. Yeah, Danae starts. Danae, you actually looking like an artist. You that I think that's the difference. No, do you know? Do what you the, know what? Sometimes the difference is the look too. Do you get me? But when then, certain man walk into a building, this is. Do you know what? Right, this is a different conversation actually. But I can't remember what the context of this conversation was about. But we were talking about Kojo Funds and Young Bania, yeah? and yeah. I was saying that for me personally, they both make sick music. This was, and this is a hot take, but this is just my opinion, yeah? I feel that Young Bane is gonna fully fulfill 
the potential that not only he has, but that Kojo Funds has and take it to a different degree, not just because he makes good music, but because he looks like a f he looks like some when he steps in you see young bane and you notice him do you get what i'm saying kojo funds isn't so memorable well, see, i all. battle with that conversation because i know you would it's not even that it's, it's perception because young bane dresses in a way that you perceive a star to be dressed yeah. but there's other people that will look at kojo and that's how they perceive a star to be dressed and they don't get the young bane thing so one thing I've learned, that's why that's why I pray. That's Get it. what on a gen? Are we talking about on general, a general? Like everyone has their own perception of what they think. But what you do you think the majority would think? Because remember, mine isn't just about what, I, is, what my opinion isn't I, coming from I what think, I think. I think my opinion is coming from what I feel the masses would think. I feel like again, I'm not in tune with that culture fully because yeah. they're they're like the raves that they go to. I wouldn't go to to rave. So there's a tad bit of a disconnect for me with that yeah. oh really yeah a little bit yeah but at the same time i think kojo is a star when i look okay. at kojo i think he's a star and that's one thing that's why i pray i said help me be the best artist i can be because being the best artist you can be is also a visual thing and in order to be visually attractive you have to feel good about yourself and when you start feeling good about yourself then you start putting out into the world positive vibrations and then people will say oh you look good if i didn't feel good i wouldn't wear my ring a certain yeah, way of course. i wouldn't wear my chain a certain way okay so it's so kind of like explain this to me then so then after you've done that now you're the best version of yourself you just have to again go where the opportunity is there's going to be people that look at you and go we don't rate you i don't care what you wear yeah. and there's going to be other people that are going to go Nah, but it's not about not rate because I don't want that. No, to when they say rate, there. So no, but I mean, I've, like, I they're not just that not into Kojo it. Makes sick music. Yeah, he's making music that's I, I, as a DJ. I'm constantly playing. Yeah, Do you get what I'm saying. I can't, I can't go to a club, any club now, really, and not play a Kojo Funds record. I, I, it's, it's undeniable. But when you, when we, when you say a star, like when I think about a star, I don't particularly think that he. I mean, but maybe you could say that um, Jay Huss doesn't particularly look like a star, does but he? But then He's to you, massive. no, but to you, this is what I'm saying about opportunity. Sometimes you got to go where the people love you. There's people that look at Jay Huss and go, I love that. There's people like me, I've always slightly loved There's a difference fling. to, there's a dip, we like, because I'm not disagreeing with you. Mm. I'm not disagreeing with you. Like, what I'm, I'm not saying that he can't exist because obviously people will look at People will love Kojo's music. People will love Jay Huss's music. Jay Huss is massive. Do you get what I'm saying? I think when you when I look at a star, like somebody that is a star in the, the general terms and as like what I think that the general masses look at, they usually tend to, and it's not about them being good looking. It's I not about saying them being, about being good looking. No, I'm, I'm not saying you are. I'm just, break, I'm just making this down so that I'm breaking it down for clarity. They don't particularly have to be good looking. But it's usually when you have star when you have star quality. Usually, it comes from not just it being the music, but stuff that is outside of the music. So, for example, this is one of the reasons why I think that like maybe some people might be a bit funny about not funny, but they're like, well, why hasn't Angel made it? Because okay, he's he has he's very talented, and when you in Angel's heyday as well. See, like when Angel, I mean, I've been around Angel and I'm his DJ, in it. So we'd go places and they might not know who Angel is, but you look at him and you think, who's that guy? Hmm. That's when I talk about star, like somebody having that star quality. That's what I mean. Do you get me? So again, I'm not saying that Kojo can't exist because he does exist and he is massive and he's equally as big as Bane, if not bigger than Bane. He's, mo he's most likely going to win Best Breakthrough Artist, to me. We was going to go through that in a bit. I think he will. He's the person I voted for. Actually, no, I didn't. I voted for Bane. But, um, but yeah, I just, I don't then know. Then again, that's your perception. What I'm trying to say to you is I've walked into rooms, yeah? Yeah. Just wearing black. I felt so good about myself. Did you wear gone, jewelry? Who's that? No. Did you wear jewelry? Did you have the stuff in your mouth? Nope. And people gone, who's that? Just because that day I felt good about myself. Yeah. And everyone else was blinging. But maybe someone else was looking at someone else that was blinging, going, oh, they look like a star. 
This is what everyone needs to forget. Being no, a, but you being can't a, just star quality. But not everybody no, can just look like a no, star. Though, everybody bro. has star quality in them. I don't believe so. If you love your, if you learn to love yourself, like really learn to love yourself. Yeah, that's yourself, a, this yeah. is a you're talking, that will you're talking from a spiritual aspect, and I understand that. But I yeah, don't think, but that I don't think the, everybody that, can. Look, I don't think everybody. I don't think everybody can be a star. Everyone can. I don't believe. I think so. your personality you can. I yes. Don't think, I don't think everyone can look. I couldn't look like a star if I tried. But fuck that. I want to wear shorts and that. Do you think but, that everybody could look uh, like then, a star? I don't know. If Where's you feel good jeans? about yourself, nah. I'm telling you, oh, if no. you feel good about that. yourself. Listen, it's deeper than just looking like feeling good about yourself, bro. Trust but me. There's, there's, no deep, there's, there's not deeper than that. that. No, What's wait, deeper than wait, that? Wait, What's second. deeper than that? What's that, deeper than about wait, you? Let me just say this. Feeling good there about yourself. There are people that have star that have star quality or that are a star that don't feel good about themselves. Yeah. I can tell you that. That probably suffer from depression and anxiety and all types of stuff personally in there, but they look the part. I hear that. To the general masses. But I'm sometimes, not just, not just all right, do you know what me. it is? I'm talking about to the all right, general mass. All right, let's say this, yeah. Drinking diet, how can I explain this? Drinking diet Coke, it ain't got no sugar in it. If you drink enough diet Coke, you're putting bad stuff in your body, but you're gonna lose weight. Yeah. It's still not better than drinking water though, is it? No. So you, like diet Coke is like, it's the, it's, it's the substitute for water. So look, dressing like the part is the substitute yeah, for so feeling you, the part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't disagree with if that. If you feel the part, then it doesn't matter what you wear. No, you're right. You're, I'm not disagreeing with you. I'm just talking and I about- think everybody, if everybody, everybody has, everybody can work towards making themselves feel good about themselves. Definitely. But that's a different conversation, bro. I'm not- <laughs> If you can do that, then you can potentially Bro, be a star. Talking about talking about having like the the inability of having like self worth <sighs> is completely different to what I'm talking about because I 100 percent. It all works in one thing. I 100 percent agree with you, but there is, I I personally think that there's like a thing in terms of star in terms of looking like a star to the general masses that not just anybody can. I don't think that not anybody, I don't think that anybody- You can manufacture be, that, yes. I don't, I don't think that, yeah, you can. You probably can. You probably can do that too. I don't disagree with that. But it's the same, I don't think that anybody can be a Lionel Messi or a Ronaldo. There's, there's only so much footballing ability, so much training and so much hours that you can put on a football pitch to, to then actually having the, that natural, this other thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you get yeah. what I'm saying? No, like, I don't they're... agree because you're, you're talking about physical skill. You're talking about training your body to react a certain it's way. It's the same Something sentiment. Something happens to it. It's the same we're sentiment. We're talking about dressing someone. No, no, not necessarily. But we said Having you can a manufacture star, it. But... You said you can manufacture it, right? Yeah, you can manufacture it though. So if you had someone that dressed whack. No, actually, you... I don't even know if you can fully ma A look, you can't it. manufacture a look. You can't look at you, someone. Yeah, you can manufacture a look, but you can't manufacture somebody just being a star in this day and age. You probably could back in the day, but not today. Not today. Not in an era now, yeah, bruv, where every, everybody is so self-sufficient and industry is self-sufficient. And I think even now, the record companies and a lot of the labels are still trying to figure certain things out. Whereas back in the day, there was a blueprint that you could follow and that, you know, it might not always work, but there was a blueprint to follow. There isn't a blueprint you can follow right now. So when you have somebody that looks like a star to the general masses, yes, I think it's it's just it's a I, you, I, you, it's undeniable. But I could be wrong. It's Don't get interested. Like a star I could be looking wrong. different or outrageous. It could just be looking different. It doesn't mean wearing jewelry. It doesn't particularly mean wearing jewelry. It doesn't particularly mean having loads of money. So like poet. Poet just looks like, he's always had that thing where he just looks like a somebody. You can't buy that. There's something about that that but you Poet, just can't I buy. remember Poet when he was younger. This is something new. Like in the last maybe like five, six years, <laughs> Poet has come into himself, like really But come he's into always himself. had a, like a, even when he's been scruffy, he's always had this, he's always stood out. Have you known Poet from Channel U days? Yeah, I've known him since we used to do the jump off debates together for a long time. What, this is going, going back eight years now. Yeah, I've known poets since like back then, yeah. and this poet now has grown. He's grown into this. He's yeah. always wa he's always wanted to be like this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But he definitely has a different like way of seeing himself. Definitely. And that is now come out visually. Yeah. Some people, you know what? Some people yeah. as well. If you if you're talking about fashion sense and stuff like that, definitely some people have a natural fashion sense. Like poet's got a natural fashion sense. Yeah, he, he knows what anything. suits him. Yeah, yeah. And 
he, he knows what anything. looks good at him. He can wear right. anything. Yeah. But it's like some people don't. But again, does fashion sense mean you have star quality? No. Or is it something that people say, oh, if you're good at fashion, then he's a star? No. Yeah, I, 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 I understand that. But that's just one thing. Like, to me, when I look at what is a star, I can't just say that it is one thing. I can't say that, like, even when I've said about Angel, like, there's just this thing. I don't know what it is. It's not just about how he dresses. It's There's just a certain thing that some people have that you just can notice them from a mile away. Do you have to have talent nowadays to be a star? No. No. No, don't. not at all. Like you don't have to have no talent at all. I feel like now, you know, you know that syndrome that we used to have in secondary school, the popular person? Yeah. That's just gone into adult life now. Before it was, you'd leave school and the real life wasn't like that. Mm. Like yeah, that's true. You'd be the popular person in <laughs> school true. and then the popular person <laughs> leaves school, you see them in 10 yeah, years yeah, time yeah. and they're like a they're crackhead. Like, like yeah, they yeah, don't yeah, look yeah, that yeah, yeah. good and you're blessed. Yeah, you're yeah, getting yeah, yeah. all the girls you want <laughs> and they're girls, it's a scrim kind of thing. Like, yeah. But now I feel like that's seeped out of secondary school into... Yeah. As I said, just so I'm clear, I'm not saying that you can't exist because there are a lot of people that I'm making or maybe even having better careers mentally in their mind, in their mind through sustaining a career in whichever it is that they're doing and not necessarily being the quote unquote superstar. Do you get me? Because I don't think that being a superstar is for everybody and not everybody wants to be a superstar. Let me ask you something. Was I a star before? Was you a star before? Or was I just a very, very good at making music? He was very good at making music, but I still feel the same now. But do you, if you said now. No, I said I you looked, look different. There's something about you that looks different. It's the exactly. mouth, it's the jewelry. But, it's like you, if, you, but, you, but you if you're asking me, do it. I think that you look like a star? Yeah. I don't know, I'm not gonna say you look like a star, but you definitely look different. Different. There's like, there's a more like, I'm more comfortable with just being out there. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. There's, there's a change there. I can see and that. I, I can might see, be growing on, on a friend thing. I can see that. Do you know what I'm saying? It's like yeah. I know that I'm growing into the star thing because there's still levels that I have to go into. Yeah. But I know within myself, yeah, yeah, that because of how I feel about myself, it's definitely putting out positive energies. Yeah, and it's yeah, still yeah. a journey. That's a, but that's a spiritual thing, and I understand that. And ultimately, that's a that's an amazing thing to be able to find yourself in a position where you feel very comfortable within yourself and you're very happy with the energy around you. That's like, I've, I've we've spoken about stuff like that before here many of times. When I think when, when I'm talking about a star, you know, I can't articulate that, but there are just some people out there that just have this thing that is around them. It doesn't mean that they are happy in their life. It doesn't mean that they are comfortable with what they do. It doesn't ne even necessarily mean that they are making great stuff. They just have this thing. <laughs>